I'm Joanne Alex, and I'm uh, talking to you from the University of Maine Forest. And today, I want to uh, introduce you to an activity from Project Learning Tree called The Shape of Things. We're going to take the next few minutes to think about our favorite shape. So just think what your favorite shape is. I've got my favorite shape. I hope you do too. So right now, we're gonna go and we're gonna read the story, The Shape of Things by Dale Ann Dodds and illustrated by Julie Lacombe. So a square is just a square until you add a roof, two windows, and a door, then it's much, much more. A circle is just a circle until you add some light, chairs high and low, round and round they go. A triangle's just a triangle until you add another, and an ocean, and a sky, a seagull passing by. A rectangle is just a rectangle until you add some more, and an engine, and a track, a red caboose in back. Hmm, an oval's just an oval until you add a nest, a wooden house, and then a patient mother hen. A diamond's just a diamond until you add some string, wind, and a tail, some friends to help its sail. A shape is just a shape, but look again and see. There are shapes every kind. How many can you find? So did you see your favorite shape in that book? I did. I saw the circle, and that's my favorite shape. So, just look around again where you are in the built environment, and that story was pretty much about our human-made environment and the shapes that we see. But now what we're going to do is we're going to think about these shapes and if we can find them out in nature. So, at home, Either find a way that you can have some shape masters like I have here, or you can draw the shapes yourself. And what we're going to do is to take those shapes, cut them out, punch a hole, and put them on a string so that we make ourselves a shape necklace. This will make it easy when we're walking through the woods because we just have to look down and see if we can find our shape. So. One of the ways that I wanted to show you, and I was on a walk in a different place the other day, and I found this in the woods. And I was very excited because it was my favorite shape. But interestingly enough, I noticed that when I turned it over, I actually had another shape. I had an oval. So when you're looking in nature, a lot of times you can see different kinds of shapes in different ways, and you have to be a little bit imaginative. So I've walked around in this environment out here, and I have found some things that remind me of the shape. So I want to show those to you uh, down here. and. If you look on this paper, 
you can see that when I was walking around, I found some bark that actually fit right in my square. And I found this lichen that is in the shape of a circle. And this fern, when I took the, saw the leaf, it has three sides. And each of its leaflets have three sides, like a triangle. And here's another piece of bark that has the shape of a rectangle. And if I look at these cones, they're pretty much like an oval. So you can see this one particularly because the ends are the same. And then at the end of sticks and logs, I found lots of circles. Now, I didn't find a star today, but I could have, maybe. And diamond, it was sort of fascinating because if you look right over here, this is a built environmental thing. It's a fence. But can you see that in this environment outside, I found myself a diamond. So if you're walking through the woods, you can find so many different shapes on the trees, under the trees. I tried to find little things that I could show you. But now for the last challenge, what I'd like for you to do is to find a whole bunch of sticks. And with those sticks, you're going to create shapes. So if you see, I have a paper that says, can you make a circle? Can you make a square? Can you make a triangle? Can you make an oval? And of course you can make any shape you want. So I'm going to try to make some shapes with all of these sticks that I have discovered over here. And these, let's see. All right, so what could I make with these? Um, I'm going to try to figure out if I can make a square. And you can use the paper or you could just do it separately. But if you look, I made those sides equal, so I have a square. But if I took these sticks and I went like this, what shape have I made now? A rectangle. And I could use these same sticks or different ones. To make a triangle. Hmm, I'm going to try one more shape and I think I'm going to try to see if I can find some sticks that I might be able to make an oval with. So let's see. Oval. And what I'd like to do is challenge you to figure out how you're going to make the circle. So I thank you for joining me today for the Project Learning Tree activity, The Shape of Things. And I hope you have fun as a nature detective looking for the shapes not only in the built environment, but the natural environment. And for a research question, ask yourself, are there some shapes that are hard to find in nature and easier to find in the built environment? Hmm, I wonder. Thank you. Have a great day.